Welcome Gemini. Very special edition. We're going to do a heart spread here. Single, couple, it's not the point. What we're reading here with the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot is a Mercury Retrograde reading. This is the one you just can't get out of your mind. The one you just can't stop thinking about. You could be single, you could be laying next to your soulmate, you know they're your soulmate, you ain't going anywhere. You're very grateful, but still maybe there's something unresolved and you always, ah, it's that person you can't get out of your mind. Doesn't have to be a, uh, you know, the uh, advice for oh, the Mercury retrograde, just, you know, don't bite on it, you know, let it go. It's there to show us uh, what went wrong, maybe why it didn't work in the first place. So the whole retrograde is about how we learn about that. But for this reading, I was just going to do the heart spread. It's in the number two position will be this person instead of uh, the one. Uh, normally, I see that as your romantic interest. Here, I really don't see this. See this as something uh, theoretical, okay? Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So uh, if it does go back to childhood, what you're not that old because uh, there was uh, technology and long-distance communication course could have been you know through mail uh but no this is back and forth a lot of connection a lot of communication you know jim and i you know had jim and i girlfriends i'm strong sad you know always get along great with jim and i's and man you know i could kind of roll either way with it you know i kind of like to communicate but boy <laughs> a lot of communication um and so maybe you know this is with someone right out of the bat um that i would be returning because it's always kind of positive energy it's, it's usually not to me some you wasting your time so this would be uh, some engagement that was uh, strong going back and forth you know okay now let's look at where you're at guys with this page of Pentacles so I try to go back with this normally this is a reading of uh, the a partner uh, really and so this is would be you Kind of try to separate you a little for a baseline away from the relationship itself. Where are you at in terms of relationships? And here, Jim and I see a very young person who's a very sincere page energy. Um, this could be speaking to some kind of earth was important in your chart then, you know. Um, as Jim and I, you're more than likely to have a Taurus earth in you and you don't know what in the moon or rising. Um, but there's also transits could speak to Saturn energy. Uh, maybe this speaks back to adolescence, you know, the, the, yeah, that really could work, the Page of Pentacles. So it would have been a time, you know, 14, 15 years old, right in your maturational process of adolescence, right? Which is your Saturn opposition. Uh, you go back and look at it on your uh, chart and find it. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I think that would be the kind, and look, look at how contemplative, is this not someone on Mercury retrograde contemplating the X there? What could have been, would have been, should have been? Hands like this. You know, and, you know, pages, they're all supposed to be delivering this message for the king or the queen or something, right? So they're not supposed to be off, like, mucking around, daydreaming with their message, uh, staring at it, you know? Um, so you would have been quite smitten, quite young. Uh, I get the feeling like, too, the way she's looking at it, uh, you're in the energy of looking at it like, whoa, you know, I can't believe I could have such a wonderful thing as this person. And your person's the queen, oh my God, the queen of pinnacles. So, you know, you'd be a Gemini, kind of expressing a solid energy, not normally what you associate with Gemini, oh, they're all talk and da-da-da. No, there's someone that's solid, and even like when you're young, and someone that you're connecting with quite a bit older than you, and you're looking at this, and you're kind of thinking, it's almost like looking in the mirror and looking at yourself. Would they find me to be enough, good enough, enough for them? Because they're the Queen of Pentacles. That's a very good question, because Queen of Pentacles, you know, typically, they're going to want some energy to meet that, you know. Um, but history... It walks on legs with queens and kings of pentacles that engage in relationships with pages. <laughs> Ta-da! Yes? Um, so the situation here. Um, but you would have been, uh, you're both in a similar pose too. Look, you know how you're both looking, kind of posing down like that. What is that? 
Yeah, it's a Neptunian themed relationship. You can Google that or YouTube it. Um, Jewel and Aspects in Astrology has, I believe, a good piece on that. Um, everything she does is good, but I think she has a specific piece on Neptunian themed relationships. I just get that feeling. So it have been in a time when your life, when Neptune was having some kind of influence, whether it does naturally in your chart or by transit, here at what may be adolescence. Um, so, you know, this could be falling in love with the camp counselor or your teacher. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. And you have such nostalgic feelings. This was your first love. You know, uh, like you didn't even really understand that you could fall in love. Let me say this now. Careful. You, you were in adolescence and maybe hormonally like right in adolescence. And, you know, uh, there's an imprinting that goes on in adolescence. And it's biological and Saturn speaks to that and it's opposition to Saturn. And that's this a maturational process, you know, and we we tend to formulate our sexual identities through this experience, you know, based upon the input we're getting from the environment. And, you know, you're just having the warmest, dreamiest kind of feelings about this person. Already, I kind of get the feeling, though, there may not have been anything consummated here because uh, the Six of Cups and how you're feeling about them, you definitely feel like they're a soulmate. Um, someone you've known before. Uh, there, I could definitely see why you'd be thinking about them maybe all the time at some level, you know? And the Three of Swords, they're the ones that broke it off. That's gonna be simple. And that's left you with a feeling, Jim and I, for your entire freaking life. And I understand, that's why relationships are important. It's how we grow, we learn. Of course they're important. Understand that if this is correct, this hits you in adolescence. You literally were imprinted with this energy of uh, not being good enough, wanting it, longing for it. It's something from past lives. This would lead later to belief in soulmates and twin flames, but it's always just out of reach. You know, it's always dreamy, you know, and so, so good, you know, but it's never there for you. It's never really there. So it's almost more comfortable to just dream about it. This girl's dreaming and she's in the Six of Cups dream. Wonderful dream. Maybe literally dreaming about past lives where you were together and maybe not dreaming. Two of Pentacles, advice from spirit, absolutely. That's kind of to get a grip here. Uh, this is uh, basically balance yourself, Gemini. Uh, you've got the Page of Pentacles here speaking to that. This is coming directly under that Six of Cups energy, which is beautiful energy. You could lose yourself in this, you know. Um, and this is saying, you know, this is the balance we bring to ourselves through our own work, you know, real effort, you know, getting sleep, exercising, eating right, self-care, do, doing what we need to do to take care of ourselves, bringing this real balance to ourselves. And it's a choice we can make. It's like, you have to make a choice. These are pinnacles. You can live in this nostalgic energy here with your six of cups and this desire for this person that will never be, never was. I don't think it ever was, and it never will be. Or you can, you know, balance things in yourself here and realize that that never will be, probably never was. Don't get me going, you start to like America. But, Six of Pentacles. Pentacles. Now, this is the advice coming from spirit here, um, not exactly from your other person, but from what you've made of this other person in your mind. Spirit now is trying to give you advice, and you notice you have the Two of Pentacles, and now you have the Six of Pentacles. So this is all about balance, you know, um, bringing yourself into balance, and this is practical things. So it's almost saying, I gotta tell you this corny as hell and I'm so sorry, but this is kind of a clear reading here. It's not subtle. Um, it's like just little practical things to show self-care and love to the universe, to yourself uh, here. Um, 
this page of Pinnacles, it's like instead of losing yourself in this uh, nostalgic dream, you know, that you know how it ends, okay, no matter how much you want it, um, focus, ground yourself on reality, on your actual life, on what you want, what you need, and now, today, tomorrow, that's another thing that can help so much. Just whenever you get in this, stop and make a grocery list. You know, it's stop, you know, and do your budget. Like, that's a really good one. Like, really start focusing, you know what, I'm done. I need to check the bank account. Um, do something practical. Take a walk, you know, do the dishes, clean the house. That's that kind of energy. Uh, to put the energy back on, on us, you know. A lot of times I think, why, for me, why I get into this kind of neptunian -ish thing is because it's, you know, it's a Neptunian escape. It's like doing drugs, you know, right? It's a, that part of Neptune, it's an escape. That's the bad part about it. It's romance, it's great, love romance, but this is like that level of it where it's like an escape, you know, and it's not drugs, it's just that feeling, that nostalgia for something that honestly it never even was. Man, I keep getting a page of cups. Amazing. All right, Gemini. Yeah, this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole here and um that that's amazing to get right there uh, bear with me my earl gray tea mm. that's what you need in the afternoon i mean it's a beautiful cup the winged ace of cups here emotions in the core of the heart spread and um this is like it's so corny but this is like really loving yourself really giving yourself what you need. It's becoming, it comes in between the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Doing the work, it's work, it's like juggling pentacles, it's, you know, juggling schedules, making things work, figuring things out, to making the effort, you know. Wands are actions, like uh, pentacles are actions that stick. <laughs> there you go, uh, you know, with routines, things that work, figuring it out. And here you're right in the middle, and you know, lo and behold, this is like where your joy is, where your emotions are. Now it's like being really centered and you can feel what it is maybe that you really love because the focus is just on like, basically you're not good enough. You're not good enough, you know, to get what you really want. And so it's like this weird thing where you always want something you can't have, right? And then by wanting something you can't have, it's the denial, it's the Neptunes. Oh, Neptune, I'm telling you. Whew, it's going to be in your chart, guys. Judgment. You can, free will. That's a tough reading. This is free will. And you can explore this in so many different ways. I mean, you can just see this and go, holy shit, I think there's something to this. And there's a whole lot of what different ways you could go. But judgment is being called up to take action upon something that we know deep down we got to take action on it. We, as soon as we kind of get an inkling of what it is, we go, oh, shit, yeah, I, I know, I need, that's, because why do you need? Because you just know deep down it's something you need to fulfill yourself, something you need to, you know, balance yourself to integrate. Um, maybe it's usually something you don't really particularly up to, you know, dying to do, or you all would have done it, you know? Um, you know, quit eating meat. I mean, it's a crazy basic example. Um, meditate every day. Uh, more like accept my spiritual path, accept that I am here on a spiritual path and be, and you're being called up and then uh, receiving. And remember this coming, you know, it's not so crazy when you look at, just look at it visually. You've got the Ace of Cups and being called up to judgment. So it's basically being called up to love and give our love openly and freely, like in the present, in the now, in reality in some way in, in a kind of reality rather than in this nostalgic, you know, Neptunian uh, sort of a, a dream love that um, is always unrequited for us guys. But Jim and I, just let me know if you like that. Uh, it really helps if you comment. Uh, likes really help. It's easy. It's good karma. Please do subscribe. Thank you guys.